Good day, YouTubers. It's Steve Becker at Man here. Today we're going to be doing something very different today. This video, <clears throat> instead of playing the table layout, we'll be playing the wheel head layout. Um, I'll be doing uh, 184 or 185 spin test on it with our Roulette, Roulette Extreme software and um, I'll go through it with you. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go over to the instructions of the game uh, which I'll show you now. So here you can see I've got the instructions here, plus I've got 185 spins from a brick and mortar casino and a live dealer with a roulette wheel, which I'll, I'll put to the test. Um, so what we're doing is we, we're playing the, the wheel head. Our game is simply tracking the wheel in, a, in such a way as to identify a short dealer bias, which is called a dealer signature, and then placing your bets to exploit that bias. Uh, the dealer, the dealer will return to the same area every two or three spins, ideally. This becomes a recognizable area by checking your spin numbers and the area of the wheel that cover. Um, so what we're doing in actual fact is we're going to be following the dealer around the wheel. And then we really see the opportunity to bet. We've got a bet selection which I'll go through after we've gone through this. So what we're doing is we're looking for a sector of seven or less pockets. The sector must not be wider than seven pockets. Okay, so if the sector is wider than seven pockets, say for eight, eight pockets and you want to take a chance playing that, do not do that. The, the tighter the, the area, the better it is. Okay, so we're looking for a sector of seven or less pockets. <clears throat> the sector must not be wider than seven pockets, but you want three numbers in that sector, in that seven sector area, within ten spins. And if we get a, a number repeat, so if a number 12 hits and then a number 12 again, that's two in, in one area. And we get another number and it's within seven sectors, uh, seven pockets I mean, sorry, then um, that, is a, that is a playable bit and we will select a, a bit. And if we have three numbers in our wider than a seven pocket sector, we do not play. The tighter the numbers are, the better the, the play. Okay. <clears throat> so now we find the center number in between the three numbers. Always use the last two hit numbers to get the center. For example, seven pockets, we have a seven pocket sector, we count three from the left and, and three from, from the right. Okay. Um, and then you choose the center. So the last two hit numbers, you choose, you choose a, the, the key the closest to that. Okay. You choose a pocket closest to the, the last hit number. And it is the number that represents our 12 num number sector. And we play that sector and the other 12 number sector which is closest to the sector chosen. If we lose, we use a losing number and start a new chart game. Um, also, when we win, that last winning number, we use that in our next chart game. Okay. Um, and also, if a dealer signature has not been developed in 10 spins, we leave that table and try another table. As the spins come out, we mark them on our chart so we can see where the dealer is going. Look at the samples of the, of the charts, which I will be showing you now. I've got four examples that I'm going to show you to make it clearer to you. <clears throat> you can use a progression or you can flat bet. 
uh, with the progression, we increase the unit after loss. And if we lose, again, we increase the unit again. And if we win, we look at our bankroll, and if we're happy with uh, the bankroll amount, then, then we, we decrease the unit after a win. And our target is between 24 and 30 units a session. And a target for the day is to win four sessions. That's all. And we need a bankroll of 200 units. And lastly, do not play the strategy with autom automation RNG or online wheels with a, with a live dealer. Only play in a brick and mortar casino with live dealer and wheel. This is not for online playing. Okay, guys. So, was, the next thing I'm going to show you uh, is, um, is the wheel. Um, how I've laid it out and, and the sectors <coughs> that we'll be playing. So, we'll go over to there now. Here's the wheel. And <coughs> as you can see, As you can see, <coughs> um, the black border on the outside, you've got uh, threes, and then you've got twos, and then you've got ones. Those are the three sectors. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, in the middle of the wheel there, you can see sector one, sector two, and sector three. And you'll notice in sector three, we've got two straight up numbers. The rest of the numbers in the other sectors are all split. Okay, so 17 to 1 pay out. So we couldn't marry these two numbers, but when we do hit those numbers, we get a good payout. It's a bonus. Okay. And then when we, we, we use a progression, maybe we'll put two, two units if we lose, we put two units on 0, 3, 4, 7, 12, 15, 28, 29, 32, 35. We only put one unit on these here, on those two single numbers, okay? You'll still get your money back. All right. So, um, I'll, go, I'll go through the, <coughs> make a note of this, um, this wheel and the sectors, and I'll go through the um, examples to explain to you how, how we play this uh, strategy. Okay, there's the examples. Example one. <coughs> so what we do is, as the numbers come out, um, you put it, you've got numbers going down 1 to 7, and then 8 to 12, uh, to 14, and 15 to 21, 22 to 28. So we're only playing basically for 12 spins. So if we don't get a, a play in 10 spins, then we look for another wheel. Okay. So number 21 came out. So um, on the wheel, you can see we put um, 21 there. And then we put a 1 over the 21. Okay. And then the second spin, we got number 6. It came out. So we put a, a number 2 above the 6. And then the third spin, number 25, came out. And we put a, a 3 above the 25. So they already got a, a six sector playing area so we've got um, one two three four five six okay so we, that's a playable so now we can put a bet selection in so <coughs> what we do now is we find the key so we've got to find the center of that so 17 was our, our center so i normally count from the 21 one two three and then you count from the six one, two, three. So the 17 is the closest 
to the last fifth number. So there's just two numbers there, okay? So 17, if you look at your wheel, if you go back and you've got a copy of your wheel, uh, 17 will be um, uh, sector 2, okay? Now we've got one sector, now we've got to choose another sector. So we choose the closest sector to um, the number 17, which, you, which will be, so if you count 1, 2, 3, so sector 1 will be the closest. Sector 3 is the furthest. So we play, we play sectors 1 and 2. And then our next number will be a 10, which we won. We won that, that game, that session. Okay. So now we take the 10, we move it over to chart 2, and we start playing the game. So the next spin will be 29, 23, 31, 12, and 18. And then you put those numbers above the numbers in the wheel. Okay. So, there we've got a same thing. We've got to play in one, two, three, four, five. So that's a nice tight sector. So our key would be seven because you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's, that's dead center. So seven on our, on our wheel uh, will be sector three. And the closest sector to sector 3 is sector 2. So we play sector 2 and 3. And then our next number is 21, uh, which is our, our, our winning number. And we win that, that, that session. So now you take the 21 and you move it over to uh, the, third, the third chart. <coughs> and we start again. We get a 24, we get a 20, uh, 20, 28, 17, and a 6. So we found, we've got another play, where 17 was our key, and we play sector 1 and 2. If we look at our wheel, and the uh, sector uh, number 17, is in sector two, so the closest will be sector one. So we play one and two. And then our next number, which is a losing number, is 26. So we lost that. So now we take the 26 and we start a new session. And then we go down, another spin, zero, then five, then 20, then 33. And then we get another play. Um, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 area sector and our key is number 33 which is in um, sector 1 and the closest other sector to that sector at number 33 is sector 2 so we play 1 and 2 now when we lay our bet we add a unit and the number that came in is a winning number, 36, and we win. Okay, so that's how it goes, guys. If you don't understand and you want more clarification or information, then um, you can you can contact me by email, and then I can explain it all to you. So what I'm going to do is we'll I want to show you how we lay the bets. Okay, um, so what we'll do is we'll go over to the Rollet Extreme um, System Designer and I'll show you how we do that. So, <coughs> if you look at our chart, uh, the first session, um, our key was to play uh, sectors one and two. So we put a chip on uh, sector one and we play in splits, okay? So it's two, we put a chip on, on two numbers. So we're gonna go with sector one. And 
une secte dessus. So we'll get six units back. And our uh, winning number was number 10. So. Um, 10. And we win that. Okay? That was our first example. In our second example, um, our key told us that we had to play sectors 2 and 3. Uh, we won the last session, so we still play one unit on sectors 2 and 3. So. Go sector two. So that's sector two, and then we go sector three. And there's a straight up number twenty six and nineteen. And our winning number there was 21. So 21. And we won that session. Okay. So we're up 11 units. So now we're going over to the third, the third example that we went through. Okay. And we were, the key tells us that we play sector 1 and 2. So we won the last session. So we're still on one unit on each split. So we're playing sector 1 and 2. One and then two. And uh, we had a losing number, which was twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, so we lost that. So now the, the, the last session, the fourth session, we'll add a unit. And the key in that session was told us to play um, sectors one and two. So we put two units on each um, split. That's taken care of one. And now we go to two, sector two. We had a winning number there in number 36. 36. Okay, so we, we're back in profit. Okay, so that's it, guys. I hope you understand that. Um, so what we'll do is... Um, The 184 spins that I played, uh, we'll have a look at this. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look at those. I played 180, uh, eight, 184 spins that I've given you. And uh, let's have a look at our graph. Okay, there you can see the graph just climbs nice and steadily over the 184 spins. And I made 90 units. And the lowest my bankroll went down was, was one unit. 
<laughs> uh, on the 16th spin, I went down to 199 from the $200 um, bankroll, so I made 90 units. Okay. Um, I'll just show you a few things here. Here. It shows you the numbers at all claims that comes out. Um, and then we can go down to the wheel frequency. Gives you the frequency of the numbers on the wheel. And then uh, wheel analysis. That you see here, it says here wheel bias. So, and it'll tell you down the bottom here that the amount of spins that we spun won't give you a wheel bias. We we'll need thousands of spins to give you a wheel bias. So we, we were following a, a dealer bias, which we, we follow the, where the dealer goes around the wheel. And then we try and trap him in the area that he comes back to. <laughs> Sim simply put, we follow him around until we can trap him. Sometimes he does escape though. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> I was going to show you um, um, sectors. It shows you all the different sectors. There's all the sectors here. And it shows you the frequency of them. Okay. So it's a very handy piece of software to have. Um, Shows you everything. Shows you the streets. Um, the corners. Tells you everything. Um, so splits. And your win and, win and loss. So, and also, you, what you can do is um, you can collect your own casino spins, um, um, real world, and a dealer, and you can test your systems, you know. Um, you can even test your baccarat systems on here. You can get um, actual baccarat outcomes, results, and you can use red and black yeah, so, but when the zero comes up, you know, I mean, uh, not, not your zero, your tar comes up, you just have it as a no play because you, you don't lose anything really. Um, but if you, you actually play a baccarat system on a roulette system, the zero will give you a loss. But that's no big deal. Huh? Okay, look, the odds are slightly less playing baccarat than your roulette, but baccarat systems can be played on roulette, and roulette, even chance systems can be played on baccarat. So if any of you guys have got any systems you want me to test on the software, just email me what you want me to do, and I'll do it for you, and we'll make a video on it. Okay. So, you know, I mean, <clears throat> that outcome there on 184 spins was an excellent result for a real live dealer uh, results from a wheel from a casino a brick and mortar casino is very good um, I have a lot of success with this this uh, system I play quite often <clears throat> I'm not saying that it doesn't lose it could go horribly long wrong in the in the first few ten spins. You could use the first five straight up spins, you know. But um, you've got to know when to quit and what to do. Um, but it's a pretty pretty good bet selection, I would say, to use. Um, <clears throat> there's no math. This is a mathematical system. It's not a mechanical system where we're looking for a mechanical bias. You know, it's, it's a very short-term dealer bias that we're looking for. Um, 
and we use a lot of numbers to try and trap the dealer, uh, which we do often. And um, I wouldn't play uh, more than four sessions. So you're looking at um, playing for 20 to 30 units for the day. Don't play for more than that. In my right mind, I would never play 184 spins. Unless you, you win four sessions and then you try another session and you win that session, then you can try another session and then win that session, that's fine. Then you can keep on going, okay? But if you go take on the fifth session and you lose it, then you've got to seriously think about carrying on and try and get your money back and go into a recovery mode or you should quit. So you must know when to quit. So the big thing here is uh, discipline and patience. And you'll be a consistent winner. You know? I'm not saying that this system is a, a long-term uh, winning system because there's no such thing. Okay? And I'm not fooling anyone, which I've been accused of. I don't fool anyone. I give people advice here, and I practice what I pre preach, I give people good advice here. In actual fact, the contrary, I actually, if you take my advice, I could save you loads of money. Okay? So, me being accused of fooling people, that's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And I always warn people that... There's no such thing. There's no holy grail. You'll spend your whole life looking for it. For the life of me, I don't know why people troll around looking for a winning system and this issue about a, a long, a consistent, win, a long-term winning system. There's no such thing. You cannot sit down at any table, a roulette or baccarat, and play till it infinity and expect to win. It's ridiculous. And also if you're playing um, low value chips, like one dollar or a five dollar chip and you're trying to win five hundred bucks or a thousand bucks in a day, you're not going to do it. It's possible. You can do it. It has been done. It can be done. Um, which I've proved, yeah, in this system. Okay, can be done, but don't attempt it because at the end of the day, especially with low value um, units, and yeah, we were using one dollar units, but when I play for real play, the casino that I go to, um, our tables there, uh, the roulette tables, a minimum inside table, uh, a straight up number, the minimum is, is, is five bucks. And your outside bets, like your even chances, the minimum bet there is 50 bucks. Okay? And your your dozens are 50 bucks minimum. And your columns are 50 bucks minimum. And your your card tables are all 50, 50 bucks minimum bet. So when I play this system and I play the splits, I don't put a five, five buck... Um, chip there, I use 25 bucks. My chips are 25 bucks. So if I win four sessions in a day, that's that's 600 bucks that I'll win. And I'm quite happy with that. And then I'll move out and I'll go until my next visit. Which I, I do two to three times a week. And that's how I play. Just remember, your your, your games have to be short, guys. You don't want to be playing long games. Because it'll get you in serious trouble. I promise you. Rather, rather stick to short games. Keep your games short. Look for a realistic session target of one to three units. And then you try and win ten sessions. Well, sorry, uh, three sessions up to four sessions. Where you get about ten units. You can stretch it over to maybe 20 units a day, but that, I would say, would be pushing it, in my experience. 
You can do it, but it, it, it's pushing it a bit. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to um, play short. And um, why I, I will play, say for instance, if I'm playing baccarat, and I make one to three units, then I'll, I'll pull out. Sometimes I'll, I'll win one unit, and I've got my 50 bucks. And then what I do is, um, I'll go and have a coffee break, I'll go and have a, or a cup of tea and a scone, and then I'll come back to another table, or you know, maybe the same table, because a few hands have gone, or maybe they're playing a new shoe, and I'll look at the patterns. If I'm not happy with the patterns, I'll go and look at another table, and if I see the patterns are running for me, I'll play that table. And that goes with blackjack, and that goes with roulette, I'll do the same and I jump from one game to the next, playing one to three units, and at the end of the day, when I've made about 600 bucks, I'm, I'm quite happy, and then I go. And that takes a lot of patience, and a lot of um, discipline. So moving from table to table, and from game to game, it doesn't reduce the odds against you, actually. It doesn't, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. The odds are always against you. So you can leave the table and you can come back. Or you can stay on the same table if the patterns are suiting you. But if you don't like the patterns, then leave and then move to another another table. And you see, oh, there we go. We've got uh, the triple twos forming there. And then hit the triple twos, you know. And then if you see a table where you've got um, the three and ones hitting a lot, then play the three and ones, you know. So that's how I play. And um, when I play roulette, uh, the longest I'll stay at a table is when I play this system, uh, playing the wheel head. Um, so, you know, I'm playing, you're playing a lot of spins here. So, you know, you're looking at probably about 30 odd spins. And uh, a dealer, depends on the pit boss, um, sometimes the dealer will be there for 30 spins. You know, but the minute the dealer moves, now you've got to you got to start all over again because you're following the dealer. So if you're in the middle of a game and you, know, you get a dealer change, now you've got a problem. So you've got to let the spins run a while before you can see if he's going to be developing a little signature. Okay. Okay, guys. Just remember, there's no holy grail. It just does not exist. You will die looking for it. The Holy Grail is you, and the Holy Grail is patience and discipline, and also know when to quit. That's the Holy Grail. There's no system that will ever last sitting at a table playing long term. I can guarantee you that. I've been in this game long enough to know that. And I don't know for the life of me why people are hunting for this Holy Grail. It's not there, guys. <laughs> it's just not there. Anyway, um, if you like this uh, video and you like the content and you want to see more, <clears throat> just let me know and give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. It's totally free. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.